In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you why I believe that the nickel over defense is the best defense in Madden 23 for the current offensive meta, as well as for, I think, where defense is going in the coming days uh, with new patches and things like that. Now, if you're new to the channel, I just want to ask you real quickly to hit the subscribe button if you are looking to get better at Madden. This channel is for people that are looking to get better at the game. We do videos every single day to help people do that. Now, if you want to really dive deep into the nickel over or the nickel normal formation, um, I have a full ebook on that that I released last week, and I'm going to be updating it as well with a brand new version of the defense uh, hopefully by the end of this week for you guys um, actually hopefully as soon as this video is going live so if you want to get access to that make sure you're in our patreon patreon members get access to all of our ebooks and all of the updates to those ebooks as long as their membership is active it's only ten dollars to sign up and again uh, we already have nine offensive and defensive ebooks including the nickel over and this nickel over has just been growing on me the more that i've been running it and i have to show you this today I think this is really an interesting uh, video that is really good for defending and really having more of a blitz heavy approach with this defense, which we're going to be showing you how to do. Now, if you think about the current offensive meta, and if you think about uh, really, I think the most difficult formation to defend is essentially a bunch formation that goes into tri uh, that goes into tight. Could be a trips formation that goes into tight. Could be a U trips formation that goes into tight. But essentially, when they go from having three receiving threats on one side to having two receiving threats on both sides within a tight or compressed formation. So with that in mind, um, I'm going to show you why nickel over is so so good. So the reason that this defense is so good is because it's very simple to set up, but also because it can really adapt well to kind of the current offensive meta. So I'm gonna jump in here and put my zone coverage on match, on my coaching, ad coaching adjustments. And we're just gonna be talking with you today about a very simple um, way that you can run match against trips. So I talked about this in a previous video, I'm pretty sure, uh, but match coverage is really, really good uh, because it adapts to the formation that your opponent puts on the field. So let's say, for example, that we are putting our match coverage on the field. One of the beauties of nickel over is the alignment you get when you show blitz because we're going to really build the, the, the whole defense is really built around the safeties, right? Having the ability to have two high safeties, I think, is really important. And also having the ability to blitz from this is actually really, really important as well. So if they, if they, our base little blitz here is all we have to do is just blitz our linebackers and then crash our defensive line down. So you see it looks just like this. I'm gonna user this guy in the three rec hook. And you'll see here, it's a real simple blitz. Of course, it didn't come in right there. I'll show it to you one more time. Should come in next time. Normally it comes in really consistently. I'm not too worried about the pressure. The pressure is always really good at a nickel over. Um, let me see if I can just fix my, my guy's blitz angle here. I think I gotta get down a little bit more. Um, well, I guess it's not going to cooperate with us, so we'll use the other guy. But literally just blitz the linebackers, and typically they come in. Um, in the ebook, we show you a little bit more uh, that you can do with these blitzes. There you see the line. The guy comes off the edge. Real simple. Okay, real, real simple. But we can expand on this concept because of the fact that we have good coverage from this and honestly because of the way that the linemen target this year. So I could blitz my slot corner. And what you'll see here is when I blitz my slot corner, don't worry too much about the coverage, I'll get into that in just a second. You will see that we can actually, a lot of times, get pressure against a blocked running back even with our, our blitzing corner. So now back to the whole idea of our safeties controlling the defense. When they audible to a formation like this, we kind of want to use our safeties in coverage. We don't, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be using, um, I really wouldn't want to be using my safeties, right? So the beauty of this is I could go in against something like like this right here, still be in my, my middle of the field, if you will. My defense really doesn't change that much, right? And then as you can see there, a lot of times if they block a running back, you can actually get pretty good pressure. So it forces them to have to block max protect. Now, where this is really, really powerful is the sheds in the nickel over are some of the best sheds in the game. So you'll see here that I can, it, it, everything looks the same, right? You, I could be sending pressure. This is the hallmark of any really good defense in this year's game is you have to make it look the same pre-step. So from here, I can send, you know, really, really good pressure if I wanted to. And then I can also have really, really good coverage. So we could do something like, like this. Um, I think this is actually one of the better coverages, you know, that people don't really use uh, in the game here. You're going to see that this plays pretty well. I just have to go lurk the crosser and I got a lot of help underneath. And then as you're seeing, we're able to get really, really good sheds. 
One of the last little things that I want to say about this defense, and part of what makes it so effective, is the fact that we can actually drop one of our defensive linemen into a three rack or a bluff blitz. Um, or you could even drop them into a hook curl if you want to. And what you'll see is the pressure still sheds. You still get really good sheds. You still get one-on-ones on the outside. And that's really pivotal in this year's game. One-on-ones on the outside make it very likely, especially if you use like edge threat um, or really any pass rushing ability on the outside. They're going to shed really well. And then you've got this double team coming up the middle. And the double team this year is still pretty shaky, right? A lot of times you can get those double team splits right up the middle of the field. So when you combine your send six right with your like like this would be an example of a send six so in this example you know me we might want to do something you know like you know let's say we take this um we we turn this into a cover two and then we can cross man um we can cross man these safeties right so we know that the outside receiver is a kind of a threat um to you know get on so i'm gonna man him up so you see here this looks you know like the safeties aren't really a threat right but as you can see now i have the ability to send a lot of pressure force them to have to block seven to pick it up and then we can handle a lot of the things that they're going to try to do out of the bunch formation you know and then of course obviously we don't want to sleep on the fact that you can do this from the man-to-man -man meta as well so let's say i'm doing something like this you know this isn't a great look against trips right but as long as if the running back blocks i want you to watch what this safety is going to do you're going to see he's going to drop in the middle of the field and kind of help spy the coverage and we're just going to run out and go guard the tight end real simple really really simple and really effective uh, pressure you can also merge different blitz metas together with cover one hole cover one hole it looks very similar um, to our overload looks very similar to everything else that we're doing right uh, so what we could do here is we could take that safety man him up on the tight end and then i could take that linebacker um, you know and man him up on the running back and now i have kind of a free player uh, over here on the safety that i could do whatever i want so you know i could cross man the the tight end and drop a curl flat out there you know there's so much we can do with this formation and that's really the beauty of it and the, the biggest thing with nickel over that i want to stress with you guys is this looks exact almost everything we do from this is going to look identical and that is a huge key when running a defense it want to make everything look identical so that they don't know if you're going to be running a three-man rush a five-man rush a six-man rush we could even send seven out of this formation if we really wanted to you know, if we if we really wanted to get aggressive, um, you know, we could send you know the corner on that right side, and then I mean it'd be kind of a crazy, kind of a crazy setup here. But you know, we could do something like like this, you know, because we kind of are anticipating them blocking everybody, you know. So we do something like this, and then we just got to get out here and get to the flats pretty quickly. But the beauty of nickel over is its ability to be simple, effective, have great alignment, and the ability that you can send really solid pressure that will get in against a blocked running back as well as have a shed defense that is really really effective as well so nickel over is kind of one of my favorite defenses in the game right now i think it might be probably the top defense um, at least up there and if you want to learn how to run it i would really encourage you to join our patreon we break down not only how to run the blitzes and the run defenses but we also teach you specific coverages that are really effective for specific formations that you're probably going to be seeing online like gun tight i think this right here this formation has the best gun tight defense in the game um, it just has so many options and things you can do so i would really encourage you if you haven't joined the patreon yet this this is worth the 10 bucks right here this nickel over uh it's I guarantee it's going to be one of the better defenses in the game this year. I think a lot of people think that it's at least a top two defense right now, if not the best defense in the game, especially with some of the abilities that you can use to make this even better. So if you want to join our Patreon to learn the whole ebook, the link is down in the description below. It's only $10 to sign up. And again, it will get you access to everything about this formation and breakdowns and all the updates to that as well. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to sign up for our Patreon, head down to the description below and click the link down below and we hope to see you guys over at the Patreon page.